Hi guys, John Watts here from the True Golf Academy. Today you've joined me at Drayton Park Golf Club and what I want to touch on is the subject of aim and alignment and it's trying to give you guys at home a better alignment routine next time you're out on the golf course. The biggest problem I tend to find with right-handed golfers is aiming too far right to target and with left-handed players aiming too far left to target. Uh, I often see golfers aiming their body at the target rather than their club. So the one thing I just wanted to touch on and clear up first of all, for me as a right-handed player, if my club is aiming at the target that says it's in the middle of the green, my body line being parallel left of the target is going to appear to be nearer the left edge of the green. And that's what a lot of people find it hard to get over, is they want to really try and aim their body, towards the target, towards the flag, rather than their club. It's really important that we get the club at the target, our body parallel to it. What I wanna go through is my alignment routine and hopefully how that can help you guys out on the golf course next time you manage to get out there. You'll see that most of the tour players have something similar with their routine now. The amount of practice swings they take or don't take will vary, uh, but there'll be a lot of consistent things they do that you'll see time in time out throughout all elite players to make sure they're aligned correctly. So I've got a 140 yard shot. Uh, it's a perfect 9 iron for me. Um, what I need to make sure is that I'm aiming at, at the targets. This is a real green light. The flag's on the left hand side. Uh, the bunker's actually on the right hand side, so I can really go at this pin and it's, I've, I've got a club with a lot of loft, so I'm really gonna be aiming or taking dead aim at the flag on this one. The first thing I want to go through is your dominant eye and how that's gonna help you with your alignment. So most of us, unless you've got 20-20 vision, had laser eye surgery, but, laser eye surgery have got a dominant eye for distance. So for me, I'm a right-handed player and it's my left eye that's dominant. Uh, it isn't that all right-handed players have a more dominant right eye. And how are you gonna check it if you never have before? Is uh, pick a tree or a flag or something you can aim at. And what I want you to do, so I'm a right-handed player, so I'm gonna roll, hold out my right arm and I'm gonna point my right index finger. So I've got a tree here and I'm keeping both eyes open. When I close my right eye and I look through my left, I'm still pointing straight at that tree. If I open my eyes again, so both eyes looking at it, and now I close my left eye, I'm looking through my right, it looks like my finger's gone to the left of the tree, okay? So when I had my right eye closed, looking through my left eye, I was still pointing at my target, okay? Which this time was a tree could be a flag, could be whatever it is, okay? So it was my left eye that was focusing on distances. That's what we're gonna do. So when we stand behind the golf ball, and I want you to stand a good two to three yards behind the golf ball. I find too many golfers standing too close to it. So a good two to three yards back behind the golf ball. And the other thing I want to say with that is I want you on the direct ball to target line or the extended ball to target line. I see a lot of golfers sort of have their practice swing, walk sort of behind the golf ball, but never quite on that ball to target line. It's a bit like trying to therefore throw a dart with your arm out here right, the, rather than underneath your eye, or playing snooker or ball with the cue out away from you rather than right underneath your chin. So I want you to stand on the extended ball to target line, a good two to three yards behind. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna hold the, so I'm gonna pretend I'm going at this tree uh, here that I was looking at. I'm gonna hold the club shaft out and I'm gonna get the club shaft through the ball and through my target. I'm gonna close my right eye so I'm looking through my dominant left eye. You'll have found yours out by now. So I'm looking through my dominant eye and what I'm gonna do is just draw the club shaft up and down a couple of times. You'll see quite a few players do this, Jason Day, uh, Justin Rose does it a lot. So he's drawing that club up and down the line. He's just trying to find a couple of things in front of the golf ball to aim for. So it's much easier to aim at something two to three feet in front of you than it is something 140 yards down there. So I want you to pick an intermediate target, ideally around a yard, two to three feet or so in front of you. And if you could, another reference point, five, six feet in front of you. Jack Nicklaus used to say that he picked five intermediate targets, so one behind the, just behind the golf ball, just in front, three foot, five foot, etc. And he could almost play sort of dot, dot to dot, so he could imagine a line drawn between all those points through the golf ball. Uh, if, if you've 
you know, can do that and you can do that in time, fantastic. But I tend to find one or one to two intermediate targets is good. So excuse me as I come out of shot. What I'm going to do, I'm standing two to three yards behind the golf ball. I'm holding the club shaft through the ball, through my flag, and I'm drawing the club shaft up and down while looking through my dominant eye. And I'm picking a couple of reference points to aim over. So I've got a divot here which is just a little left of the flag. So if I can aim it just on the right edge of that divot in front of me, and I also, it'll be to the left of this divot here. So I've got something that's about three feet in front and something that's only another sort of foot or so, but they were the clearest reference points uh, that I could find. So what I would then do is walk in, align my club first. Don't try and multitask here. Ladies have been telling us we can't do it for a long time, and you are correct, ladies. The bad news is I don't know anyone who's perhaps good enough to multitask and try and aim their club and their feet all at the same time. So what I want you to do is aim the club first. So I'm aiming the golf club just to the right of this divot, just to the left of this divot. And I'm just gonna draw my eye line up and down my target line to check my club face is correct first. Now this is a key point and I'm just gonna turn around so I'm, uh, more face on for you here. Once you have aligned the club, what I want you to do is put no forward pressure on the club shaft. We don't want any forward pressure on there at this minute. We want the club shaft nice and just straight up once we've got it aligned. And what I want you to go ahead and do is point your toes at the club head. So when you look down, the club shaft is right in the center of your toes and my feet at the same distance away from the golf ball. They're not pointing to the right or to the left of it. I get a lot of golfers aim the club, but because they've put some forward pressure on that club shaft, by the time they walk their feet in to align at the ball, they're actually ahead of the golf ball. And when they open their feet apart, they're always tending to aim their body to the right. So aim the club, no forward pressure on the club shaft whatsoever. While you point your toes at the club head, the club shaft is right in the center of my toes and I'm gonna look down as I open my feet apart, okay? So my alignment routine, let me move the ball back there just a touch. So I'm gonna stand two to three yards behind the golf ball. Now the ball's moved this time, so it's a slightly different, I've now gotta go just left edge of that divot. So I'm gonna draw the club shaft up and down my target line, picking my couple of reference points. I've got them. So I'm gonna walk in, I'm gonna align my club, drawing my eye up and down that line. No forward pressure on that club shaft, toes pointing at the club head, shaft right in the center of my toes, then I'm gonna open my feet apart. When I look up to see where I'm aiming, I'm gonna look up by tilting my head underneath. And I should feel like I'm aiming a little bit left of my target because my body line is a couple of feet left here. So I should be drawing my eye line up there rather than doing this. Because now when I do that, as soon as I stand up to look where I'm aiming, now my shoulders are pointing way left. Golfers feel like they're aiming at the left trees and what they tend to do is move around to the right until they feel comfortable. Let me go ahead and hit one for you. So, align my club. No forward pressure on the club shaft. Toes pointing at the club head. Open my feet apart in good golf posture, and I'm going to draw my eyes down that line, feeling that I'm aiming a little left of target, and now I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger. Well, that one worked out pretty well. That's straight over the flag. Just took a little kick left of the flag there, but pretty happy with that shot all in all. It's a bad fold of mine. It's something I've had to work really hard on. I've always found that if I don't pay attention to it, I aim to the right of the target. Have a better routine, trust it. When you're practicing, when you're on the driving range or the practice area, pick different targets, line yourself at the target, then just lay the club shaft down, remembering that your body line should be parallel left of the target for a right-handed golfer, parallel right of the target for a left-handed golfer. So test yourself. Get better at your alignment on the driving range or the practice area or a few quiet holes if you're getting out in the evening. So next time you're in your medal competition, you can nail that routine every time. <laughs>